this cold April continues in South Louisiana. Got the heavy coat on again today. I'm here on the edge of Lake Pontchartrain waiting on my good friend, Justin Bowles. We're going out to fish the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. For those of you from out of town, it's a long bridge that crosses Lake Pontchartrain. Used to be the longest bridge in the world, although I think another bridge has since overtaken it. But certain times of the year, big speckled trout crowd at the bridge legs. It's seldom fast action, but boy, it's always a lot of fun. And you always have that potential of catching the speckled trout of a lifetime. I don't know if that's gonna happen today, but we have gotten some reports that there are some fish at the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. So we're gonna give it a whirl. Justin should be here any minute. Nice, beautiful, calm morning. We got a little bit of a southeasterly breeze blowing right now, but not too much, maybe two knots or so. Hopefully it stays nice and calm like that because that lake can get rough in a hurry. We'll see. All right, we just pulled up here to Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. The Bonacary Spillway was open earlier this year. They just closed it fully April 1st, just a couple of weeks ago. But you'd never know it by this water clarity. It is gorgeous out here. Now, the only bad thing about fishing out here, in addition to the fact that it can get really, really rough, is this constant cacophony of traffic heading to the South Shore, all the morning commuters going into downtown New Orleans to work. Man, I feel so sorry for them. Oh man, visibility's great. Uh -huh. It's at least two and a half feet, huh? It's my first time doing the pause with the remote control control. Oh, is it? What'd you have last time? A hand control? Fish on, fish on! Nice! Is he a netter? No? Not bad, not bad. Your first causeway speckle trout in how long? A year and a, a couple year? Days. Right. He's thick. Yeah, yeah, he's thick. Got him. Fish on? That's gotta be that bait color. It's gotta be the holy jolly. Is that a better fish? Same fish. All right. I'm not sure, Justin, but I think that's two nothing. Yeah. You fishing a three A's? Yeah. Get thumped? Yeah. Justin lands one more, I'm switching. I haven't gotten a bite, have you? There he is. Now I have. Oh, lost him. Yeah, he was out. Justin's been getting his hits out. Happy to see that they're the big fat bag. Yeah, right. Come on, we need a bite. Somebody needs a bite. I did. I let mine go. He told all his friends. Fish on. Fish off. It was a bite. Oh. Justin keeps getting robbed. Yeah, the pattern so far is there is no pattern. <laughs> They're just kind of scattered. Fish on. Redfish. <laughs> All right, redfish. Where's our holy jollies? Right I think the water might be too, too clean for holy jolly. Oh yeah, I agree. I think you're right. I've had two hits, but he's getting, he's up to like maybe 10 hits. Oh, oh that means it's... What do you have on? Jolie? Oh. Well, that, that should be just as good as this. You would think. Let me see if I get any bites. Another miss! 
gonna be one of those days, huh? Oh, don't lose him! Don't lose him! Don't lose him! Whoa, that's a good trout. Nice. All right, let me uh, let me get a pig. Man, we are we are missing some fish, dude. <laughs> Terrible. Our efficiency is atrocious. All right, I still haven't put a fish in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was way out. I did. I'm not gonna set the hook anymore. I'm just gonna start reeling in. I mean, it was a dramatic, dramatic difference when I went to you. Finally put one in the boat. Man, they're fat. You're right. That is a fat fish. I tell you what, either he's file hooked or that's a good fish. It feels like a red. He might be file hooked though. <laughs> Let's see what he is. I don't. It's, it's not a trout hooked in the mouth. I'll say that. Oh, it is a trout. It's a nice trout. I, I, I don't know. Let's look at him again. It's a three fit, a three pounder, I'd say. Oh, he's not that big. He's not that big. I can hoist him. Oh. <laughs> He's definitely the biggest of the day, but he wasn't as big as I thought. He was kind of hooked inside of the mouth. That's why he's fighting so weird. Sorry, I was going to let him go anyway. <laughs> right, made me feel a little better. All right, we are having a blast out here, but we're also getting a little frustrated here and there. Oh, oh Joel's hooked no. out. <laughs> That's why we're getting frustrated. We keep missing fish. The fish are just pecking at the bait not taking it deep even our hookups the fish were getting into the boat or just barely hooked on the edge of the lips missing a lot of fish pulling them up to the top they're shaking throwing the hooks but we're still putting some nice fish in the boat i just lost maybe a two and a half three pounder while we're fumbling to get the net we're releasing all our fish today so it doesn't matter but you'd still like to get them in the boat and let them go but justin just pointed something out at least now we know where they are and as soon as something changes and these fish start attacking the baits, we'll make a pass back through this area and hopefully put a lot more in the boat. But I can tell you this, the causeway is on. Oh, Justin. Oh, Joel. <laughs> My turn. They're just, they're just not taking it deep at all. They're in peck mode. There we go. Looks like he's got it deep. Let's see. See if we get him in. Staying down, huh? Might be a good fish. Oh, net, net. Let's net him. Where's your line? Not as big as I thought, but he's not a bad fish. Fat. Look how fat that fish is. Look at that. That's a Lake Pontchartrain trout. Short and fat. Yeah. Look at even even still. I mean, still not deep. Fish on, fish on. Let's see if you land it. See if you're better than your dad. I know, I know, I know what you mean. Uh-oh, he's got Godzilla. It's a pound and a half fish. A pound and a half. Big old red fish. 
Is it real? Yeah, you know, he hasn't seen it. It's a red? Have you seen it? Big trout fight like that. It doesn't, I'm telling you, big trout fight like that. The suspense is killing me. Justin, how many trout have you caught here you thought were reds? Trout. Look at this guy. Dude, that's the biggest trout you caught in a while. It's a red, it's a red. Right on that jacket. Right on the jacket, right. All right, let's... Uh, <laughs> Forget the net. Look how fat. That fish is not long. He's not long at all. He's just fat. That thing's so fat. There he is. He came back and hit it a second time. That's a baby. Alright. Probably a 16 inch fish, but it feels like a baby. Yeah, that's a solid truck. Right. <laughs> Let's see how big he is. Yeah, he's 15 inches. Man, I tell you what, I love this causeway fishing, but admittedly, it's not for everybody. You're out here and it's really rough. Now, we're in Justin's 25-foot blackjack. It's a big boat. It can really handle some rough seas. And I'll tell you, this is just kind of typical. You don't get days a whole lot calmer than this. You get a few where it's flat calm. But by and large, it's either this rough or rougher. And the action here is seldom just every cast. It doesn't happen that way. You gotta work and earn these fish. But that's what makes it fun. And that's what guys like Justin, who fish out here all the time, that's what they love about it. And Justin, look, let me tell you, he knows this causeway better than anybody. He's probably the best causeway fisherman I know. So I'm gonna talk to him and get some of his tips so hopefully if you come out here, you can translate them into success. All right, so Justin, people come out here frequently and have no success. What are the keys to getting these fish to bite out of the causeway? I think a, a main key is getting your bait down to the bottom, uh, staying in contact with your bait. Uh, you, you really need to fish it slow. If you, if you get a bite, pick it apart, figure out why, make the same cast over and over again. If you get another one, Keep repeating it. It's it's very monotonous, but it produces some very nice fish. Now talk about that for a minute. What's some of the biggest fish you've seen come off these bridges? Um, we've had, I've had quite a few six pounders, uh, some six and a halfs up to sevens. Uh, but uh, the fun part to me is is getting limits of fish that are 18 to 22 inches. Um, it's just, they fight different. It's like a different breed of trout. You can see the, the shape of them. They're short, fat footballs, and they just, they bulldog you all over when you hook them. All right, people always want to know about baits and colors. What are some of your favorite baits and colors to fish out here? Um, if I could have one bait to fish out here, it would be a 3 8 golden eye jig head with a matrix magneto um, in pretty much any color of water. If the water gets really dirty I'll go to a lemon head or um, something bright like that like the, uh, the purple and chartreuse but it, it has to be really really filthy for me to switch from Magneto all right Justin also last question I know you're a big believer in using the right rod for the task at hand what do you like to use for this type of fishing um, I like to use a six and a half foot a medium heavy extra fast even a heavy I don't think will hurt you but uh, one, one big tip I have, trout have soft mouths, a trout out here are no different. When you set the hook on the fish, I keep my drag loose and I, I've, I've gotten in the habit of putting my thumb on my spool when I set the hook. So I don't have any drag slipping on the hook set, but then I can let go of it and I have a loose drag to fight the trout with. It's, normally you have slack line, so you want a stiff rod to move the bait whenever you go to set the hook out here. As you can see, we got probably a foot and a half to two footers rolling in on us, and the fish are wanting to hit after you pop the bait up and it's sinking back down. And you can see the belly in the line, but I use straight fluorocarbon line to still feel the bite. 
and then when I get the bite, there's, I mean, there's times that you go to set the hook and it's nothing there, but I try to do everything I can to make a hook move in these conditions.